So what is tougher than running against an incumbent member of Congress? Running against an incumbent who is also heir to a political dynasty here in New Jersey. But John Arvanites, the former mayor of Roseland, is running anyway, challenging Rodney Freelingheisen in the 11th District. And he joins us now. Uh, it's good of you to come on in. When, how long did you contemplate doing this, running this race, before you actually decided to do it? Uh, it's, it's been something that I've had a passion for since I was a child. And I was, uh, had the honor and privilege of serving in Roseland for 14 years. I self-imposed a term limit on myself, not that I, there's a guarantee that I would have won, but I didn't run for re-election. And in the two years that I was off from public service, I was thinking about it and decided that this year was the best time. From an issue standpoint, Freelingheisen's been there, I mean, the family's been there in office for years. He's been in Congress, I believe, since the mid-90s. What, what does he do or not do that would drive you to want to replace him? I think it's relating to our constituents. I know how our constituents feel because I felt and feel what they feel. When I started my accounting practice, I was eating Cheerios for dinner. I knew what it was like to go to a bank to get a loan for my bank, my business. I know what it's like to make a payroll every week and pay health insurance premiums for my employees every week. So what would you as a member of Congress do about that? I mean, for instance, on taxes, do you support the president's stance? I, I support the stance that our president uh, has put forth. Uh, I think that's a starting point and we need to continuously look and uh, make adjustments so that it benefits our constituents. Um, after the Democratic Convention, uh, Charlie Rose interviewed uh, Mr. Daley and Mr. Brooks and they talked about how they admired mayors for creating laboratories and coming up with solutions in a bipartisan manner. Right, it's a big difference them. between being a mayor and a member of Congress. For instance, would you, would you support imposition of a millionaire's tax? Uh, and, and if so, what level? Two hundred fifty thousand dollars, like the president says. I, I do support our president's our president's program, and uh, the the experiment that's been going on of watering the tree from the top hasn't been working. We need to water the tree from the bottom so that the whole tree can grow and everyone can prosper. The millionaires and the, and the working and middle class. What about in terms of foreign affairs? One of the bigger, almost embarrassing episodes, perhaps the only one that people point to at the Democratic convention, was the platform fight over. Uh, recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's uh, one and undivided capital. Do you support the idea of, of that, of, of Jerusalem being Israel's, as recognized officially in the party platform, as Israel's capital? The, Israel is one of our um, closest allies in the Middle East, and I support their efforts. And if that's the, that's the position that they want to take and, and Jerusalem is their capital, I'm a supporter of that. In, in terms of running an effective race, there's no way anybody can really do that without having campaign cash at hand. And according to Project Vote Smart, you don't have a lot of that. So how do you, how do you run a, a legitimate, incredible campaign with, uh, I believe, the numbers they had from the middle of summer, say you raised 27000 and you only had about 14000 on hand. Right. You're running against a guy who has very deep pockets. It's grassroots, doing it the old-fashioned way. I'm out there knocking on doors, making phone calls, attending every event that I'm uh, told about. And uh, it's, it's working. The, the campaign staff that I've assembled is working tirelessly as I am. We've been working full-time since April 17th, up until yesterday and today. It's, it's, it's a full-time campaign and um, working as hard as I could, I, as I can. I will not be outworked. I, I can't guarantee that I won't be outspent. Mr. Arbanese, have to leave it there. Thank you for coming in, sir. Thank you.